everyone and once again welcome back to my channel server gyan my name is dr lokendra singh and today we are going to discuss about how to design vpc because when we talk about vpc designing so there are a couple of aspect which we need to keep in mind first of all security then after if there are audits going to be then definitely that has to be very uh, carefully designed so right now we are going to discuss that what type of infrastructure we need to keep in mind what are the subnets we need to design how we are going to ensure that all the subnets will provide you high availability it means ha that is known as high availability if one avail one sub one availability zone goes down then how we are going to ensure that the particular uh, applications the particular servers are up and running all the times so these are the things which we are going to discuss so let us see first of all let us talk about the particular load uh, route 53 which means this is our dns service so when we talk about dns which means whenever any user tries to browse your website so request will come to your dns and dns will forward request to your load balancer fine so there are uh, three type of load balancer like, like like load application load balancer network load balancer and classic load balancer now inside application load balancer there are two different types like first of all is public load balancer public application load balancer and second type is internal application load balancer now if someone from internet is going to hit the particular domain then obviously hits will be forwarded to application load balancer and that is that is on public load balancer fine now this particular subnet this route table 1 is associated with uh, these three subnets it means you can say these three subnets are associated with route table 1 internet gateway it means this particular icon shows as internet gateway so internet gateway is placed on the top of all these three subnets now how do we create these three subnets subnet 1 subnet 2 subnet 3 these three subnets are going to be there uh, 1.0 2.0 3.0 now how we are going to design design it so very first subnet will be created in us east 1a or it could be like uh, any availability zone whatever you keep like us west 1a b c whatever so for example only i have mentioned these names fine so very first subnet will be in 1a availability zone second one will be in 1b availability zone and third subnet is going to be in 1c why i have created why i have designed this in such a manner because i want to ensure that if because of any reason this particular subnet goes off the particular aws or maybe google or maybe azure data center goes off due to any reason it could be possible that there is some earthquake natural calamities natural disaster are there so whatever happens if one data center goes down which means this auto scaling group will keep on serving traffic here which means all the remaining servers will be spinned up here within these two availability zones fine okay let's bring it back now so that's why we have created these subnets within all three availability zones like one subnet in each availability zone we have created what type of services are supposed to be running within this particular uh, route under uh, this route table so these three subnets will be serving all the traffic which is related to web application web servers all the servers which are serving web application will be created here fine auto scaling group will be as responsible to spin up the machines in all the mentioned availability zones in all three data centers one availability zone equal to one data center fine us east 1a is one data center 1b is second or 1c is third data center okay now when we talk about this particular route table 2 which means all the servers and all the subnets which are going to be here once again these these three will be splitted up across all three availability zones like us east 1a 1b and 1c ip address series will definitely be changed for this and finally when we talk about application servers and rest of in stuff so net gateway will be created in one public availability zone keep this thing in mind in net gateway will be created under public subnet because whenever we talk about that we need to keep these servers running and we need to ensure that the particular uh, server should be able to access internet so what we are going to do here is we are going to ensure that these servers will be running and internet will be provided to this net gateway using this particular public subnet so net gateway has to be created in public subnet if you create net gateway in private subnet then obviously you will not be able to have internet access available on it okay so fine then after when we talk about this route table 3 why we have created it because we do not want to have any sort of access 
एज वी नो दैट इंटरनेट गेट वे प्रोवाइड्स इनकमिंग एंड आउट गोइंग इंटरनेट नेट गेट वे प्रोवाइड्स यू आउट गोइंग इंटरनेट आउट बॉन आउट बॉन इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इज प्रोवाइड्स मोर ओवर यू कैन एक्सेस इंटरनेट फ्रॉम द सर्विस विच आर क्रिएटेड इन ऑल थ्री सबनेट्स वॉट इज द डिफरेंस हियर सो डिफरेंस हियर इज If you associate any public IP on the top of these servers, which are created under these subnets, so obviously you will not be able to access those public IPs directly from internet. If you associate, though, even you will not be able to manage, or you will not be able to access those public IPs here. Fine. Now, final. Uh, let's talk about route uh, RT three. It means route table three. This route table we will create. Obviously, we will create three subnets and we will split the three subnets across three availability zones in order to ensure that these are created in all the available data centers. Fine. Now, what is going to happen here? So, very first subnet will be created in one A. Second subnet will be created in one B, and third subnet will be created in one C. This particular will be running for data center. Which means all the data, all the all the DBs, all the database servers will be created in these three subnets. Keep this thing in mind. There will be no internet connectivity. So obviously, who will access this subnet? So these servers, which are created in application subnet, this particular route table and all the subnets which are created here, all the servers which are created under these particular uh, four or these particular three subnets. All the resources, like uh, multiple ma EC2 machines, could be running here. So all the resources will be allowed to access these database servers. Or it could be possible that if there are a couple of application which needs to access this database directly, so for sure these application servers will also be allowed to access this database. Fine, but no one from internet will be allowed to access this. Now there is a particular situation that we need to ensure that. we need to update some softwares here we need to install some softwares here so rather than downloading the softwares directly from internet and assign uh, we may assign one net gateway to this particular uh, route route table as well so rather than assigning one net gateway here or maybe internet gateway and then after assigning public ip address here so it's better to have a one server within your own data center within your own aws premises for package management which means whenever you want to update any package on all the servers maybe on public subnet on private subnet or maybe on such a server subnet where there is no internet connectivity so because this is also created in 1.0 2.0 maybe some other subnet it is created so on private ip address these servers although there is no internet connectivity but yes these servers will be able to get in touch or get will can have connectivity to these servers which are created here let us assume that the server this uh, this server has 10.0.1. maybe 27 ip address fine this server might have 10.0.1. 27 ip address so this server will be able to reach out to this now when this we are we are calling this server as package management which means all the updated packages which are supposed to be installed here like we can configure it like local yum so which means these servers will be able to download packages directly from here rather than going out to internet and rather than exposing security rather than breaching the security we will have our own internal package management server and this server will be used to update packages on the particular remaining environments fine so this is how we need to design infrastructure keep this thing in mind all the subnets you are going to create so these should be created in all availability zones then after internet gateway should not be placed on the top of every route table those route table where no internet is required there should not be we should not place any net any gateway there maybe internet gateway maybe net gateway or any other gateway we should not place here those servers who are serving applications only so we should use internal load balancer in order to like for example these three application servers are serving same sort of traffic so rather than specifying ip address of these application in web servers so we will call these three servers based on the domain name and for that we will have an internal hosted zone on route 53 internal hosted zone will send traffic to this particular uh, like load balancers and all the vpcs which will be associated with this particular internal hosted zone will be able to call the particular domain uh, from within vpc only so this is how we need to design this particular vpc is infrastructure so i hope this is clear 
and now we can design our VPC in a very uh, like safe manner and obviously this will be the best design which you can have and obviously this will be security compliant because obviously those servers who need to have like internet access so these are created under one subnet under under one route table those servers who need to have only outbound internet connection so this is created in another subnet another availability zone like another subnets it is created and it is these subnets are associated with another route table same thing goes here like when you are talking about route uh, like route table 3 so another subnets are here and this is for database there is no internet access so i hope this is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching have a good time and happy learning from server again if you have any further questions so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to assist you on that have a good time and happy learning thank you